Now you can see our onboard mini make a circle, the circle range about two mm, two meters. I put one onboard C1 and one onboard W1 here. You can see the range. You can see the onboard W uh, mini can make a circle very easy. So this is the onboard mini. You can see it. The player is about 75 uh, kilogram. Now it's fully playing uh, mode now you can see on board mini. It's kick tail. Now he's choose the fast mode. You can see on board mini. Very cool. So now you can see this onboard mini with big kick tail and it's wise, more, more wise than other uh, mini boards. You can see it. It's the kick tail. You can see. And it's with display too. All of our onboard products, we add a power display on the uh, ESC case. This side, you can see. Now it's 29, about 86% power and voltage. 39.5 voltage. So this is the onboard mini. And we will update in our websites all our uh, onboard products. We add a LED display on the ESC case. So this is the onboard mini you can see also the more wires than the other mini mini boards. So very big player playing. Today is sunshine, a very good uh, weather day. We are uh, on the top of this mountain. We testing, always testing here. Very blue sky, you can see. Faster, faster! Catch him! So now it's the double one, the C1 testing the circle range. You can see the C1 is also very good to make to make a small range, small range circle. You can see. C1 the launch is bigger because the deck is a little longer. Uh, sorry, it's W1 deck is longer than the C1. So the launch is a little longer. It's a little hard to make a small circle. Oh, 
For the mini testing the speed, try to catch the video of the speed change. This is the speed, the max speed here. We'll show you here. So let's go now. So now you can see the speed here, 39, 89 km per hour, almost 40 km per hour, about 25 miles per hour. So we can order our onboard updated ESC much more faster than the old ESC now. This is our onboard mini and uh, our W1. Thank you for watching. So this is our onboard mini and uh, we have updated our battery waterproof uh, add a glue around the battery inside. So now we're testing our waterproof how long time can put in the water then we take out check the function of the onboard. So let's go testing now. See this onboard mini in the water you can see it. We will put about uh, five minutes. So into five minutes, you can see. Then we take off, take it out to check the if it's work or not. The whole battery is into the water now. You can see. You can see the turn on, turn, turn on button still have LED lights. You can see it. So this means it's still working. You can see it. I just push a little remote. But don't do like this. We now testing is put in the water and check if how long time it can uh, stay safe in the water. Because many countries learning more learning many on waste loads. You can see now the LED lights still have red flashing, you can see it. Before you do this, you need uh, 
不是蘑菇路，而乱子摩托这把头的。We do test the noise uh, for make sure our battery is waterproof. But we can make sure the motor is 100% uh, waterproof. Now it's almost uh, three minutes down. You can see it. It's still. I checked the uh, LED lights, you can see the steer flashing. You can see it. So three minutes now, we take off take out checking if it's working or not. You can see. Yeah, it's still working, you can see it. This is the battery inside. And I show you the function, you can see. This is the ESC. And this motor, I show you the onboard mini. You can see. Wow, still work. Slow speed, fast speed. Yeah, good. I don't know uh, if we put longer time, it can still work, but. Usually don't play on the water load, weight load more than 3 to 5 minutes because uh, when you fast speed, maybe water enter inside but all batteries, uh, 100% water will not enter into the battery cell, you can see